For the past four weeks, we have been traveling through Egypt, exploring the many cultural highlights here and getting to know incredibly welcoming locals along the way. Before we fly out to India tomorrow, it is time for one more day in Cairo. Today is our last day in Egypt. Our yes. last day and we're spending it in Cairo. Our, tomorrow. Our favorite city in Egypt. Our favorite city in Egypt, without a doubt. It's the most vibrant city. It's the one we've enjoyed being in the most. It has the best food. We just picked up some lunch. This is a little pizza, like a small tiny pizza that they wrapped up into this little roll. Put some ketchup on it. Looked pretty good. It was cheap. It's pretty good. We're gonna... This cost um, 60 cents for two, uh, two of these pizza rolls. Some things really never change and Cairo being busy, hectic is one of them. Traffic is just pretty dense, especially here when we're heading to the really old part of Cairo where the streets are smaller, lined with tuk-tuks and just small trucks and cars and... No idea. No idea. Who knows what all these things are? <laughs> How are you? Good. Hello. Shuk Hello. Hello. Shukran. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay, picture, picture time. <laughs> yeah. And so, the other thing that still hasn't changed, we still feel like celebrities here, so always good to know. It's our we have 15 a... minutes of fame. Last time we were here in the old part of Cairo, we were a little bit disappointed that we couldn't do one of the highlights. Literally one of the high things to do here. <laughs> <laughs> it's climbing the Zuwaila Gate on the southern side of the old uh, part of Cairo. It was open until 5 and we arrived here at 5.15, I think. We didn't know it was only open until 5. So we decided to, came back today, to come back today and here it is. Are you ready for the little climb? I think we should be able to manage. Yeah? Looks pretty high though, I mean, all the stairs and the sweating and I'm getting tired buffing. just thinking about it. Are you ready? I'm ready, I was born ready, I was born to do this. I'm ready. Oh, it's a beautiful building. That would be something really cool to make into like an apartment to live in, like all those glass panels. You have like this, this beautiful terrace here. What was I going to do again? Stop, yeah. stop okay. delaying the inevitable. They were, they were out of uh, full price normal tickets, which cost 40 pounds. So they just gave me four student price tickets, which are half price, but they gave me double really? the amount of tickets. So the end, we're paying the same. They counted the two of us as four students. I was. Does, does that mean we're, we're fat? I mean, basically, you're telling us we're, we're fat. I mean, I've been putting on a little bit of weight here in Egypt, but that's just rude, no? I was, I was waiting for you to say, so they gave it to us for free or at a discount, but no. Whoa, it's windy here. <laughs> Time to start the climb. We're almost there. Feeling, I'm really feeling pretty windy up here. Oh yeah, made it through the top. Oh no, wait, it's not the top, it's just like the first floor. No, let's pretend it is though. Yeah. We can pretend and you'd never know. Yeah, we would say like, this is the highest part and you would never know. See, this is the highest part. This is not there. It's not. This is really cool. It's not that high up yet, but you can already see above most of the buildings. You can really see we're like in the old Islamic part here in Cairo. You see like minarets like every five meters. There seems to be a minaret like over there and over there and over there. So. Although like the first part here, the roof is a little bit. That's where all the trash in Cairo goes, rooftops. Yeah, apparently it's, re it's pretty weird. I kind of like the idea, like to say this is the highest point instead of just climbing up here, huh? As soon as you leave the door, it gets pretty dark in here. And there are a couple of spots where some light peeks through, but mostly it is just super, super dark in here, like pitch black. There's an in-between floor here, but it's not the top one yet, so now that we're here, gotta get to the top one. Oh. <laughs> 
couldn't really see his face there, but that was me. Just take my word for it. Alrighty, let's do this. That looks promising. I didn't know you'd have to be an acrobat to climb this minaret. So now I'm stuck in here. Made it. No more stairs. That was an interesting climb. Yes, indeed. We made it to the top of the world. Well, at least the top of the minaret. And when we came up here, they asked us to participate in some video holding up a sign in Arabic. He said it meant something about Egypt. Hope so. Hope it doesn't say like death to all Westerners or something. <laughs> Otherwise, I didn't do it. It wasn't me, it just looked like. Anyway, we made it up to the highest point here. Wow. Now you get like a really good overview of the old part of Cairo. In the, in the background there, you have the citadel with, uh, I think it's the Mohammed Ali Mosque. Your it's, hair likes it up here. Yeah, yeah, it's really happy. It's like jumping up and wild down. Wild and free. Yeah, wild and free. You know there's an easier way to do this, right? I just showed you the easy way. Oh, I mean, there's steps that just go up to here. Those are not steps. They are. Ah. See? Qualify steps, small steps. Don't try this at home. Don't try this. This. No, I'm gonna jinx it. I was gonna say this is the smart way to do it. But this is not suitable for you either, because your legs are too long to squeeze through here. Even mine are like, barely able to make it. So now, jump onto this little part right here. No, it's too high, Kim. It's too high. Don't make me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> she made it. Alright, let's go. It was a close call. Bye bye, view. There's pit and shit everywhere on these steps. Where are you going? <laughs> well, the sunset is in about uh, half an hour, 40 minutes. We're going to head to Zamalek, which is like the modern part of Cairo. We haven't been there yet. Uh, we're going to head there and we uh, found this pretty cool place to go watch the sunset. So let's go there now. The driver should be around here somewhere. Very tight little street. It's not made for cars, especially not for two lanes, which we're making now. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, hello. How are you? <laughs> Good, thank Good. you. Good. We're getting stuck in the market for half an hour. <laughs> Finally made it. It's uh, two minutes to the sunset, so let's go, 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 go. No time to lose here. Where are we? No idea where it is exactly. Isn't this the one where it said that it was above a shabby two-star hotel? Because it looks like it could be here. Yeah, I think maybe this one, but just let's check them out the car to be sure. We think it's here, so let's go somewhere else. <laughs> it's this one. Perfect. The it's the same place. This window, yes, that door. I know a shabby hotel when I see one because you've stayed in plenty. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Where do you think the rooftop is? Any idea? People rarely believe you when I say this, but I'm not the slow one in this relationship, as you can tell. Right next to the window. Oh, uh, window. 1,000 mosquitoes. Oh, good God, oh, there are. Let's go sit over there. I don't know if you can see this, but like literally a thousand of them. They love the river. Okay. 
We made it to the Zamalek rooftop bar. Zamalek is the name of the neighborhood here. It's like the very modern part. You just got a really nice view from this rooftop bar over the Nile, over some of these beautiful hotels. And while it's a bit more expensive than general bars in Egypt or in Cairo, it's really not expensive at all. We just ordered the lemon juice uh, with some mint, a fresh juice. Normally you would pay like 10, 15 Egyptian pounds for it. Here it is 30 and like it's filled with mostly Egyptian people. So always a good sign. Cheers! So we're here behind this like, well, behind plastic basically because it keeps the wind out and also the mosquitoes apparently. So tomorrow we are going to fly to India. Um, now you guys have some research already for what we're thinking of doing in India. We're flying into New Delhi. We're gonna enjoy the final evening in Cairo. So we've made it to El Kazas, one of our favorite restaurants here in Cairo. It's in downtown Cairo, close to where our hotel is. They got some really great food at some really, really affordable prices. When you walk in from outside, it really looks like it's just a snack bar, almost like it's a McDonald's or just a shawarma place. But you can also be in this seating area right here where it's really more of a restaurant and they have basically everything. They have a very, very wide selection of all types of Egyptian foods. He's been here like... This is probably the sixth or seventh time in the six days we've been in Cairo in total. So <laughs> we really like it here. As Naik said, this is pretty budget friendly. If you want to know how much this trip is costing us, how much we spent, for example, in the four weeks we were in Egypt, make sure to sign up for our weekly travel updates email. We'll send you one email a week letting you know what we did over the past week, what the plans are for the future. And we also want to include some budget stuff in there. A lot of people have asked us how much a trip like this costs and we want to share that with you as well. Make sure to hit the link in the subscription box and sign up for that email newsletter. We just brought out our food. Looks really delicious. We just ordered uh, four different dishes. First one is more of an appetizer. It's called a sambusek. It's basically a bit like a samosa. They have like in India and other places in the world. It's a fried piece of dough filled with normally supposed to be cheese. So. It's a mixture of cheese and meat in this case. It's the first nice. time we've had this. Yeah, it's the first time we're eating this. Nothing too special. Nice little appetizer. Very, very crunchy because it doesn't even fry it. You can hear the crunch. Yeah. yeah. But this is falafel Alexandria. This is the best falafel I've ever had in my life. The normal falafel is called falafel and then I have a special version of falafel Alexandria. It's this, it's covered in a mix of spices. It's got some fenugreek seeds, fried onions, some uh, sesame seeds. Well, on the inside you have some, I think it's tomato, onion. In Egypt, falafel as well as hummus is not made from chickpeas like pretty much everywhere in the world. It's made out of fava beans. So they're like whitish beans. Give it a different flavor and texture and I'm a really big fan of it. Mm, it's good. So this is fata, also actually our first time having it. Fata is basically some flatbread topped with rice and some meat. Uh, it can be chicken, it can be beef, pretty much anything. This is the beef variety. There's also a little bit of reddish sauce in here, which seems to be like some sort of tomato salsa. Actually really, really good. The meat is really, really flavorful. And they have some um, fresh green herbs thrown in there as well. This may not look like much, but I love this dish. I've had it every time, basically every time we've been here. This is eggplant in tomato sauce. The eggplant is just so well cooked and there's onions in there, some chickpeas, some other stuff. I love this dish. If you come to Cairo and you want some good Egyptian, cheap Egyptian food, definitely come here. Because this quality for this price, you just can't beat it. Uh, we're gonna end this vlog here now. Uh, as you said, tomorrow we're flying to India. If you want to follow our journey in India and then who knows after we're maybe Malaysia, Singapore, China, who knows where we're going. Subscribe. If you got some tips for India, comment down below. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.